Hello, it's Foreign News O'Clock on Whole News Nigeria. I am Okoyemi Olubimi. Here are the headlines for today. United States District bans Bible for children. Canada on brink of worst ever wildfire season. Now the news. A Utah school district in the United States has recently implemented a ban on the use of Bible for elementary and middle school students due to concerns that it may contain material deemed vulgar or violent. The decision came after parents expressed agitation and demanded the prohibition of the Bible within that particular district, citing its unsuitability for young readers. The Davis district located north of Salt Lake City and accommodating approximately 72,000 students had no choice but to comply with the pressure from this parent and enforce the ban on reading the Bible in its schools. Prior to the ban, a committee comprising parents, teachers, and administrators was formed to assess the content of the Bible. Following the evaluation, the committee decided to remove the Bible from the district's reading materials. The decision-making process was documented in an online database of review requests, but the committee did not elaborate on the specific reasons for the ban or indicate which passages were considered excessively violent or vulgar. In addition to the Bible, the district has also eliminated the Book of Mormon from the libraries of younger students as a review request was filed to have it removed as well. Furthermore, the decision to ban the Bible in the district aligns with the current trend of conservative parent activists, including local chapters of the group Parent United, who have been actively engaging school boards and state legislators across the United States. These activists express concern over how topics related to sex and violence are addressed within educational institutions. In other news, officials have warned that Canada is facing a dire white fire situation through the coming months after vast swaths of forests and grasslands from its Pacific to Atlantic coast have been scorched. Some 26,000 people remain displaced by fires at present with about 120,000 having had to flee at some point over the past month. From Western Mont, British Columbia to Nova Scotia on the East Coast, about 3.3 million hectares, 8.2 million acres have burned so far. According to Prime Minister Justin Trudeau through a news conference, he said, and I quote, our modeling shows that this may be an especially severe wildfire season throughout the summer. This may be an especially severe wildfire season throughout the summer. We're going to get through this together, and our government will keep being there with whatever it takes to keep people safe and provide support. This is a scary time for a lot of people, not just in Alberta, but right across the country, including in the Atlantic, the North, and Quebec, too. Canada has been eaten repeatedly by extreme weather in recent years, the intensity and frequency of which have increased due to global warming. After major flare-ups in the west of the country in May, notably in the Paris provinces of Alberta and Saskatchewan, firefighting shifted in recent weeks to Nova Scotia in the east and more recently to Quebec. A fire that threatened the suburbs of Halifax, the largest city in Nova Scotia, was contained over the weekend with rains and cooler weather helping firefighting efforts. Some evacuated residents were allowed to return home. In Quebec, the tiny town of Clover was abandoned in the face of advancing blazes, forcing its three dozen inhabitants to flee. About 10,000 residents of St. Elis also remain under an evacuation order. With resources increasingly strained, Ottawa has sent in the military to help in hotspots. About 1,000 firefighters from Australia, France, Mexico, New Zealand, South Africa, and the United States also arrived or were en route to bluster firefighting efforts. And that's it on today's news. For more updates, kindly follow us on all social media platforms displayed on the screen. Stay tuned on our channel. I am Okoyemi Lubini. Do have a lovely evening.